Okay, I got asked a question on guilt, uh, guilt of something that I've done, that was the question, and how to release the guilt uh, in a situation, how to see it in truth. Okay, so um, uh, yeah, guilt and uh, and relation uh, and, and uh, with something I've done. Well, if I've done something and I feel guilt and I have a story, you know, like, um, for example, I stole somebody's donuts while they weren't while they weren't looking um, and then feel guilt around it uh, something I've done how do I release the guilt well you know apart from if there's any practical amends to be made um, the guilt is is uh, it's well the guilt the story of guilt is it's a feeling and it's a story so the, there's the energy of guilt maybe I'm feeling guilt in in my solar plexus or something I don't know where it would be but it's, there's an energy of it and then there's the thoughts. Oh, I shouldn't have stolen the donuts. I shouldn't have eaten those donuts uh, without telling telling the person. So, so then um, one can use the Course in Miracles. God is a love in which I forgive myself for eating the donuts. God is a love in which I forgive um, uh, uh, my fear of eating the donuts. God is a love in which I fear retribution from the person if they find out I stole the donuts. So you can use that, or or uh, and just to dissolve, because at the level that the guilt is being held, the miracle is not going to happen. So one has to clear it, either through can cancelling, uh, praying, surrendering, or witnessing, or just allowing the feelings to evaporate and not identifying with the thoughts. So one is trying to get to um, a less identified uh, field of consciousness, which is not identified with the thoughts. Or the energy of guilt, or the whole story that's going on from that level of consciousness, and to release it in, into the light, and there, from there, the miracles and the orchestration, or the guidance, uh, will come through more and more clearly, as to how the ongoing orchestration of the release of guilt, and the story um, of guilt is done. So, some of the mechanisms. I mean, I always do things uh, from a place of trying to transcend it until it disappears and no longer exists and the, there's no memory of the story of guilt and the feeling of guilt so that it completely disappears uh, and i sort of see that as releasing a limiting belief or limiting a uh, belief system within myself that has um that shall we say within the illusion my myself and the collective are bringing up for transcendence for dissolving or forgiveness so to just um to just clear it either through god is love and which i forgive i pray for a miracle to see it differently instead of this i could see peace i surrender to god my feelings and story of guilt uh, and pray for forgiveness transcendence and miracles or i can just allow the energy of um of guilt to be experienced without labeling it or without thinking and let it just dissolve away until there's nothing there that's identified with or else i could i could ask the question what what's feeling guilty? Um, what's what am I that has is having these thoughts? And look within. Is there is it a thought that's having the thoughts? Is there anything there that has thoughts of guilt? What about the feeling? Is there an observing of the of guilt? Is there a witnesser? Um, is the witnesser of guilt feeling guilty? You know, so through the inquiry process to dissolve the story of guilt. Um, and I would just um, uh, um, remind people of Dr. Hugh Len, who through forgiveness um, of, um, the, of what a uh, whole prison of prisoners in Hawaii had done, just forgave them or transcended them as, as, a, as a mystic. And they all got well and the prison closed down. So that's the power of forgiveness within the collective illusion of dissolving these shared illusions or limiting ideas that are being held in, in the individual consciousness and the collective consciousness.